أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم A number of times I receive emails maybe messages that is there any article on let's say multi group analysis is there an article on uh, confirmatory tetra analysis is there any article on moderation or how to report moderation so i thought it's a good idea to do a video on how do you find an article on something that you're looking for so it's very plain and simple what i'm going to do is i'm going to use google scholar for it now let's say there is a scenario and i'm looking for something on multi group analysis using amos so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use all in text now this command here all in text actually now this command here all in text what it does is it looks for this particular text and this particular text in the text of the paper so now since these are multiple words here so that's why i have put them in quotes now if this now look at this this is just a single word so there are no quotes or no quotations so what you do is just simply let's copy it open google scholar now here is our google scholar so i'm searching for multi group analysis in amos let's press enter so here are the papers that have used multi group analysis with amos now you can simply open these papers and see how they have used it how they have analyzed it how they have reported it now let's go for another example similarly you can do for confirmatory tetra analysis obviously you can put it in quotes or inverted commas now let's say i'm looking for multi source data and that used with amos or pls so is there any paper that have used multi source data and analyzed the results with amos or pls any one of them so look here multi source data is one keyword that i'm looking for the other is pls or amos now when you are searching multiple words and you want both of them to be part of your results you do not need to use and so there was no need to use and here because that goes without saying in google scholar but when you are searching for either of the conditions like either pls or either amos then you need to use or now in this case i'm searching for a paper that uses multi source data and one of my variables is leadership or leaders and the analysis is done in pls or amos now this here there is an and in between and there is an and in between here but you do not need to write it so the condition is that the paper should have the word leader and multi source data and either one of these now moving on similarly let's say you are searching on how to report mediation so you can simply write this let's uh, search this one as well to see the output here it is amos with multi source data multi source data leadership multi source data leader pls so you are getting specific results now let's say you are interested in reporting mediation for your results or analysis simply use this one you can put it in inverted commas as well if you want if you are searching for moderation analysis as one word let's say i'm interested in a paper that has both mediation and moderation with smart pls so a complex model using both mediation and moderation analysis so look at look at this here there is no and in between but there is a or here because i'm looking for either mediation analysis or moderation analysis with smart pls so let's say you can put it here let me copy it let's say i'm interested in a paper that uses both mediation and moderation analysis so here is a paper with both mediation and moderation analysis so now you've got a very complex paper that you can obviously look into and read in order to learn smart pls similarly let's say if anybody has used leadership and convenience sampling like studying leadership with convenience sampling and similarly fsqca with customer loyalty but fsqca is known 
with the words FSQC, obviously that's the technique, but it also comes with the words configurations or recipe and with customer loyalty. So there is an and in between these terms here and customer loyalty. I hope this would have helped you understand how to better use Google Scholar for your research. Thank you very much.